Hi, my name is Jenny Paul. I'm an actor, producer, director in New York City, and my most recent project is called That Reminds Me a Series. It's a sitcom that's sort of modern family meets arrested development, and it's at www.thatreminds-me-the-series.com. Hi, I'm Isabella Peralta. I'm a producer as well as a director and mostly as a director. I am currently running a theater festival right now. I'm also the production manager for Green Card, the new musical. And I'm also just started up a new film company, so you're going to check that out later. <laughs> Hi, my name is Chelsea B. Lockie. I'm a director and an actor. My most recent project is The Cold Trap. Uh, Studio 1945 Productions, of which I'm also a co-founder. You can find more information on the movie on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash movie. Hi, I'm Natalia Plaza. I'm an actor, comedian, writer, producer. You can check out my latest sketch that's going to come out soon called The Sofa Bed Whisperer. And I'm also acting in a film that's coming out soon called Before the Court. And if you want to see more of my stuff, you can just check me out at nataliaplaza.com. Hi, I'm Natalie Romero. I am a producer here in the city. Uh, I work under the Vladar Company, so we are just putting out so many fun, great feature documentaries. Um, so please be on the lookout for The Hurt Business, which will be in theaters this year. You can also go on Vimeo to go see C.T. Fletcher, My Magnificent Obsession, Believe with Kai Green, and also Jeremy Scott, um, The People's Designer. So go out there, check us out, check me out. Um, and hopefully much more to come. Welcome to the Women in Film Roundtable web series. I'm your host, Victoria Ivy King. I'm a director, producer, and founder of Cine59. So, let's just dive straight in, shall we? So 2015 was the year, I think, where it was sort of a global conversation about feminism and inequality and wage gaps and stuff like that. Can you guys comment on that? Tell me what feminism means to you. Tell me uh, how you felt when you heard about the wage gaps and or were you actually shocked? Let's go first. I think feminism just means being a regular person. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, uh, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know, I don't try to like push people to do things or think a certain way or have a certain opinion. Um, I find that people who are very political or very aggressive in their approach when they want to change people's minds bother me a lot. Mm -hmm. So I, I try to not be that type of person. Whenever I really believe in something, I feel really passionate about something. So I think just being a, you know, just being a regular person with a healthy outlook on life and you know somebody yeah that wants to be treated equally but um, you know treats others with respect as well if I can just dovetail on that um, I feel the same way that it has a lot to do with just uh, common human decency but <laughs> to add to that I feel like feminism for me at least um, over the last couple of years something I've really realized is it's not just equality amongst men and women, it's equality amongst men and women of all um, races, of all sexual identities, orientation, and realizing what my role is within that, realizing what my struggle is within that, but more importantly understanding what my struggle is not, and how much worse it is for other people, and um, coming to a, a, an understanding um, coming to a certain amount of empathy and educating myself more on uh, how much, how lucky I am for the oppression that I don't face, as well as understanding what I do. Because um, I, think, I think those lines um, are important and they're necessary and um, yeah, that's kind of where I feel like I am with it right now, if that makes any sense. Yeah, it does. Nice. Because I think I think I'm definitely the person that you probably just don't like. Like I'm the person. <laughs> I'm, the person Facebook, I'm the person that's just ranting to men, just because it's, yeah. it's to me it's hilarious. To me yeah. it's like, wait, you guys just don't get that like they just go. You got mean, something that I don't yeah. have, but it doesn't make me any different from you, and that's it. And that's and that's completely yeah. where yeah. my idea of feminism ends. It's I can do what you can do, and if I can't lift something super heavy doesn't make me less of an absolutely yeah. anything. But that's just, that's just, it's just trying to live my life without being mm -hmm. like, I'm less than you. And, yeah. and I tell everybody that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> just like, it's a, it's a little reminder.
behind you because then it's like you hear and you see things and you're like, oof, you don't see what you're saying and people are just so conditioned and, and it sounds so whatever, so feminist. Oh no, I, I, definitely, you know? I definitely do that too. And that, that, you know, I, I was also vegan for a long time, so people just don't want to hear shit from me. <laughs> Social interactions yeah, yeah. in my history. You're so walking around a room and what the fuck do you have to say now? Okay. Like what? Yeah. There goes a feminist vegan. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I have to like really watch how I talk to people yeah. if I want to be hurt. Yeah. That's the thing. So I mean, I was very fortunate. I grew up. I didn't understand the concept of feminism at all. Not until like I got to college. I can tell you that for sure. Because I mean, I grew up as an only child, and my parents were very much like. They gave me too much confidence, you know, parents like that. So much confidence that you really like, I got hurt so many times because I'm like, if I jump from this rock, I'm not gonna break any bones. Like that's how much confidence I got from my family and I just, I thank them for it later because now as you get older, you get so surprised on like, the fact that sometimes the people that raised us are the ones that need to be retaught on how to treat people. Because feminism for me, it's not about, women being stronger than men. It's not about anything associated with that. It's just about what you said before. I'm a human being, just like you. I deserve the same amount of rights, respect, and the language that you would speak to a man. I deserve that same exact language, you know? And if I don't tolerate it, it's not because I'm a girl. It's because I'm a human being that just doesn't tolerate, like, gross language, this and that. It just doesn't matter, you know? It's just, that's what feminism is to me. You know, it's just a matter of being looked as equal. And I was very fortunate to, I mean, I was always a big tomboy. I, I don't think that term is also weird, too. But I was also much like, I like to be like, Is that an old term? It's a, it's a weird term, tomboy. Yeah. I always found it weird because, is like, it, it, it just for, refers to a young girl who likes to, like, run around. And who likes to be yeah, free. Who likes to yeah. be free yeah. as a boy. Yeah. I feel like the new age term for that is, like, masculine and feminine energy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> liking women and like being with yeah. girls and I was like I'm just not attracted to girls but I yeah. feel like I should be yeah <laughs> and because I liked you know because I did everything that guys did isn't Same that thing, funny yeah. that society teaches us that though because I like everything yeah. that boys like I should also be attracted it's so to women true. Yeah. yeah but even in this day and age we still don't have a term for why do we even have to have a term but we still don't have this term for girls who just like guy things it's just I think those are women like yeah, it's true probably get and I don't like Barbies like that was not thing. so like you know it can be anything I think and I think that there's some expectation is maybe what the issue is in, in my perfect world that feminism wouldn't even be a word exactly yeah, that's, 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 yeah, that's, yeah, that's a really thing. good point that's it's, a good point because yeah. I when people talk about feminism all the time like I almost I'm starting to almost hate that word I agree mm -hmm. because yeah. it's like it's not just femme or masculine yeah. it's it's just us yeah. Yeah. and it's kind of like if it's kind of a human mm -hmm. rights thing so yeah. to say feminism almost feels like it's understated. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of love that word. <laughs> <laughs> it just, I don't know. I think there's Sorry. something, uh, there's something sexy about it. There's something that I take pride in about it. And there's something, because I don't think, uh, I don't like that feminist equals political agenda. No. Yeah. But I love feminism and femininity. I think it's a wonderful, yeah. beautiful thing to embrace. I like to say the word goddess. <laughs> I do. I always like to say goddess. I'm a goddess. Yeah. I, we've gone from feminist to goddess. Exactly. That's it. I mean, I very much agree with you. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of the word feminism just because, like, I don't know. It just, it's a weird thing to describe, but I think it's a necessary word because it's calling out the injustice upon women. So that word is needed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's almost like, oh, you're just a feminist, you're just a feminist. Yeah. Like, no, I'm, I'm just a human being who just cares. So we don't like the reaction. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. That's One thing 
I'm definitely hearing is a lot mm -hmm. of, I'm just a human being versus I'm not, yes, I, I'm a female, I love being a woman, but I'm hearing a lot of, mm -hmm. I am just a human being. Yeah. So this literally is no difference between a man and a female. Mm -hmm. To me, it's, I'm a human being, you are a human being, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that, yeah, there, it's definitely about human being, but it's also about just embracing, okay, yeah, you're a woman. It's like you said, like, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a total girly. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. You know, it's like you want to feel sexy, oh, you want to like show off the body, and I, and not because, and that's the whole thing, it's like, it's like you're saying, okay, so feminism, we may not like the word because we hear it so much sometimes, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, okay, yeah. Jesus Christ, we get it, yeah. and also because you get these guys, or you get these women, and you see these videos online of people just not understanding what the word means, and that's what becomes tiring, yeah. because it becomes such a stamp on us, on these women that consider themselves, women and men, that consider themselves feminists to be these ranting crazy people and I rant but not like a crazy person <laughs> because, yeah. you know it's those yeah. people that are that are just for women's rights mm -hmm. and yeah. you're just for everybody's rights exactly. but I do enjoy and I think that's where sometimes the line gets a little bit gray you know when a woman does enjoy being feminine when a woman yeah. enjoys mm -hmm. being sure. sexual, when a woman mm -hmm. enjoys wearing some tight pants yeah. because, hey, mm -hmm. you know, I look good today. And that's yeah. completely fine. I'm not doing yeah. it because of a man. I'm not doing it to impress any yeah. other human. I'm doing it because I look fucking good in the yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it. And I think it's, it's you know, you have, like, I think you have certain groups of, of people that are trying to shy away from that. But that's, mm -hmm. but that's adding yeah. to it because the reality is that, mm -hmm. hey, Look, look to my eyes, look in, in my yeah. eyes and know that I am a person, mm -hmm. but I'm going to act as I feel like it. And mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that I'm acting like a woman or I'm acting feminine, as they say, mm -hmm. all the time. You know, those, those are just like mm -hmm. another, another label that's, that's mm -hmm. put to us and what we have to do, but we can be proud of it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that's completely okay also because at the end of the day, I can do what you do mm -hmm. and I can hopefully gain it. Uh, as much money as you do mm. in one day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I would even take it a step further though and like yes I want to say you know of course I want to be like I am a human being just like you exactly like you but I don't think I don't think men and women are the same. I think we should no. be equal yeah. mm -hmm. but I don't think we're the same yeah. right. and that's why I say I do love femininity and whatever that means and for men yeah. too. Men who love you know, to wear makeup and tight pants. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. that's yeah. wonderful too. Or men, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. Or um, you know, or um, trans community mm -hmm. uh, people who identify as women mm -hmm. later and things like that. I think that's important too. Is that it's not the same. It's yeah. absolutely should be treated equally. But and that's okay. And that's yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think that's a big part of femi uh, feminism that needs to be protected. Is um, not to put anyone down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should be. Yeah. Feminist, being yeah. a feminist is not about putting anybody down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about empowering people and bringing people up and bringing people together. 